ArcNow has a set of expanded capabilities and performance tools for lead registered and lead certified projects for both O&M and BDNC projects. In this video, I'll be going over what you can do for your existing building project with this comprehensive set of tools to help you analyze your performance throughout the different performance categories. Now let's assume you have already entered, synced, or uploaded all the applicable data you have for your project. Let's go over to your performance metrics. We've got your lead points for each category and each section here shows your performance in a variety of KPIs. But what's really important for certification is seeing how your building is operating during your chosen baseline or performance period. The default scoring is the last 12 months, but you can either choose end of calendar, your last certification date, if any, or a custom date range applicable to you. After toggling for your specific baseline or performance period, and you see the potential number of lead points you would receive at this level, you might want to know what kind of point increase you would get if you made certain changes. For existing building projects, we can hop over to lead O&M score modeling under models. This lets you see what would happen to your score if you say, decrease occupancy, and then also offset a fraction of your carbon emissions. You can always hit the reset button here. And this is applicable to all five categories. Now let's move on to another feature this set of performance tools gives you access to. In advanced scoring, we have over two dozen building performance standards, whether required or voluntary. These span from standards like ASHRAE 100 to local regulations and BPSs. You can determine whether your building meets these standards, fails, or is on track for meeting them. Let's take a look at one example. Here, you can choose your property type and we show you Boston's Berto standards emission limits over the years. The result for this demo project is that it passes until 2029. And these are the percent improvements needed to pass the subsequent greenhouse gas limits. Now, if you want to create your own targets, we have that option for you here. Simply fill out these fields, most importantly, the year you have a target for and the energy or emissions target you want by then, and then you'll be able to track your progress. Here's a sample of a simple target where greenhouse gas intensity is tracked here. If you'd like to learn more about custom targets, you can find our walkthrough within our Arc Scorer channel. Now let's check out another handy section in ARC called Lead Certifications. We tell you what your current lead points will be for each category and what your project is on track for, whether it's lead certified, silver, gold, or platinum. You can submit for review over here. If you want to share with others on your project's lead readiness, go over to Reports to create a custom project performance report where you select your performance period, a title page image if you'd like, and then we will generate a report for you. Let's take a look at a sample. You'll see your performances in all five categories and then your lead v41 readiness analysis. We show you your data and documentation completion and total lead score and a breakdown of your scores in each category. This entire set of performance tools is available now, and for those who have BDNC projects, we have new capabilities in ARC, and a walkthrough of that can be found within our channel.